they're only 30 points up here, Thompson. Maybe the game's changing. Maybe Winchelsea go right this quarter and we have a game on our hands. Right, so here we go. Start of the third term here at Godfrey Street. Thompson with a 30-point lead, as Grubby said. Bowles and Meeson in the ruck. And neither really get a tap down and neither have really been effective at the centre bounce today. Meeson puts the tackle on. And locks it in there for Winchelsea. Secondary bounce to occur. Meeson to come from the same side as Bowles this time. Put the clock on? Probably not. <laughs> Bowles got it down. Menzies puts the tackle on. And the ball spills free. Meeson's kick was uh, smothered by Casey. Now uh, through the middle there's a handball. Comes to Williams who gets, tries to get through some traffic and then drops the footy. And he got tackled by DeSano. The kick from Kittle was smothered. Now it comes out. Williams gets it to Brooks, who got it out, but uh, Hole tracks it back towards centre wing. Goes with the right foot kick long towards McLeod, but I might, might be all just in the field of play as it bounces. And out of bounds for a boundary throw in right half forward for the Tommy Tigers. Dragoon. <laughs> they were down. Dale, they were down, the oh Dragoons. Yeah. It's going to be a bad day at work tomorrow, then. <laughs> you take over, I'll look. Right, All right. Ball in the half forward line. Too sure where the ruckman are here. Oh, yeah, back in with Meeson and also Bowles, and that's where I thought the ball was going to go. Reese Hobble can't touch it. Now he can because it hits the ground, picks the ball up, and he handballs out the back, goes to Wall, who goes quickly back into the forward line, governs from behind, tries to knock the ball out of Davis' hand, picked up by Kittle around the body, and I tell you what, what Jakey Kittle, nice finish, has got his second goal of the afternoon and the seventh for the Thompson Tigers. There, 7 4, which we'll see on 1 4. We have gone 1 and a half. Uh, third quarter of the Granny Slogan Sports, third quarter scoreboard. Well, they plucked something out of nothing there, Thompson. The thing that worried me about that goal was not only did he, he kick the goal from where he was, but Freeman was running into the goal square on his own. It looks to me like they may have Bailey Kale on him at the moment. And, uh, look, you, you've got to stick with a kid like that all the way. And, and, and if, if Kittle had to a, had a muck the kick up or give a handball out, Freeman's running into an open goal. You can't just stay on a bloke when you're out there. You've got to follow him in. But that's a good goal for Thompson to get because they get a couple more and we're going home. Three down the Dragons. Bad luck. <laughs> so back to the middle. Bowles and Mason. Mason gets it down. Hole roves it though. Goes towards centre half forward. McLeod jumped at it. Couldn't take it. Westwood taps it towards McLeod. Chopped off though. The uh, Blues had the numbers. Can they pick the ball up? They can now and they go with a long kick. Brooks towards centre half forward. Tucker can't take the mark. Comes back to him though. Gives it to Tobias Orney. He gets wrapped up. Now Tucker on hands and knees. Sprig had to wait for it. And then he turned the ball over. That's holding the ball. Wiseman, punched it. No. Umpire um, said play on. Now it falls to Brooks again. There's a bit going on behind the play. Keep your eye on that. Ford comes out. Handballs it away to Bill Collins. He gets it over the top. Carricker. Can he kick the round? Oh, he kicks it behind. So one behind again. 1-5-11 winch. Thompson 7-4-46. Three played. Third term. I think if you try and break through a pack and then lose it, I think that's holding the ball. I really do. I think do. you're right, Gruff. Hodgson from full back. Eases it beautifully to Reese. How many, how many possessions do you reckon he's had already? 25? Yeah. <laughs> but he's not getting the yards. No way. No, I'm giving not him, again. I'm giving him three already. So, Holwell from half back. Dalkey's in three. You're in trouble. So, ball goes towards centre wing. Not in my radar today. Uh, <laughs> Wiseman <laughs> and balls it away. Back to McLeod. Goes towards half forward. Freeman read it the better, but he left it for Kittle. He kicks it around the corner wall. And oh. a good kick over the back because uh, Westwood was sitting there. Is it sit for him? No, I don't think it does. And it runs through for a uh, behind. That's a let off. 7 5 47, Thompson. Winch will see 1 5 11. Four played, third term, the Grandy Cyclone Sports scoreboard. Gubbins gets the kick in from the fullback position. He takes a mark just on 50. And again, not much movement forward of the ball for them. So he goes short and wide. Mark taken out there, Ellis, on his left boot. Just runs, carries towards centre wing and now goes into the half forward line. Again, no too many out there, but there was Thompson three. And it ends up in the hands of Jacker. He goes back to where the ball came from to the half forward line. Up over the top, McLeod can't take the mark. Ball hits the ground, picked up again, kicked forward, goes to, and uh, sitting in the hole. This time is Matty Wallen. So Wallen now, he goes quickly back towards centre wing. Brooks comes up, got the runner inside. Karaha takes the ball and it chips it over the top. Better way to kick, nice, and finds Spriggs. He looks back inside, better forward of play. But if John O'Casey comes up and takes the mark, called the play on by the umpire, comes out wide and Westwood takes the mark. This is Josh. He goes back, right boot, little short kick going forward towards McLeod, comes up. Just eats, uh, 
attacking side of centre wing. Wall on the far side waving his hands around. McLeod just saying, take your time. He goes short over the top of John O'Casey once again. So Casey now. He will go quickly into the forward line. Goes towards oh, the target out there. And I think it was Kittle. His mark is not taken. So he hits the, the ground. And the umpire said that's holding the ball. And free kick will go to the Thompson side. And it's Wall once again, I think. So Brendan Wall is about 30 out directly in front. in now and kicks towards goal didn't start that nicely but it's going to hold Snuck a time just I think. I think and he has got his first <coughs> goal of the afternoon and the eighth now for the Thompson side they're eight five they lead the Winchester Blues on one five six minutes gone third quarter of the Grandy Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard I think now it's starting to look a little bit dangerous I, I just reckon Winch tried to play their best footy in that second quarter they held the Tommy Tigers up but they just didn't kick only kicked the one goal themselves and I just think if, if Thompson now, they've kicked the first couple. If they kick another one, the opposition falls away a little bit and it could get ugly. So I think Win what Winch you got to do is just, kiss, just play the game out the best they can. Back to the middle, Bowles gets it down. Through the middle, Price at it, lost it. Kick off the ground by Gardner towards half forward. Falls to Westwood. Oh, can he get it out? He's got McLeod by himself. He's got his brother is there as well. He handballs it over the top. They can raffle it in the goal square and Jacko just kicks it How off the ground. How the hell does that happen? <laughs> he kicks his third of the afternoon and the night for Thompson. They go to 9 5 59. They lead Winch 1 5 11 to Grandy Cycle and Sport. Third quarter scoreboard. Seven played. Look, they've got Gubbins down there. Sterling, who's a pretty good player. Like they just lost their structure no matter where that ball went. If it goes straight, Thompson get it. If it goes to the right, Thompson get it. If it comes to the left, Freeman runs in for Thompson and gets it. That was that had to be a goal, even if you're bugging it up four times. They'd still pick it up and kick a goal. And I don't know where their structure went to. I, I, I didn't see it coming myself, and all of a sudden, they all pop up. So there's something wrong there. The, the winch have just dropped off them and let them sit there. They didn't run in. They let them sit there. So back in the middle of the ground again. Bowles, Neeson. Bice throws the ball up. Rolls over the top to McLeish. McLeish stands and kicks into the half forward line. Ball bounces going across. And, uh, oh, the ball was taken by Bennett. Ends up in the hands there of place. Goes to Budavalis. Out wide. Okay. Ma taken out there. Spriggs it is. Short option. It was going to go to Scorny, but he decides to go back to the middle of the ground. Again, grubby, dangerous kick, but it comes off. Brooks takes the mark and plays on now. Inside the centre square, he goes looking for Ford. Over the top, Jacker gets the ball to ground, picked up by Holwell. Puts boot to ball. Lucky will call it because it ends straight in the hand of Banfield. So he plays on now and comes out wide. Goes looking towards Westwood. Gubbins arrives, knocks the ball down. Goes back towards Famer. Got the handball across to Gubbins. Gubbins into the half forward line. Kick will be okay just. Mark taken just inside the field of play by Tucker. So Tucker now is looking forward of the ball. And there's not too many options there, so he's going to go back to Wallen. Oh, I'm not too sure that was called out there, but he left the ball alone. Westwood goes over the top. Westwood, one to the other. And they go now into the forward line again. McLeod's up and in front oh. and dangerous and takes the mark. Well, he did play here for a while, Matty Wallen, didn't he? He did. Yes, he did. And maybe did. one of his ex-teammates said, leave it, Matty, it's fine. <laughs> and he turned around and there was no one there. Not for Winch anyway. Mind you, it wasn't a great kick. A little kick like that should go straight to you, not over your head. So McLeod now, similar to the last kick goal. By Wall, same distance anyway. And Jackson McLeod with three already this afternoon. Kicks a goal, and that one again Talked away it. to the left. And it is through for a minor score. Exactly, that's 9-6 to the... Thompson side, 1-5, and we have gone nine minutes, third quarter. So Kale from full back, plays on, comes towards half back. Wiseman at the back, good thump away. McLeod at the front, handballed it to Gardner, threw it over the top. McLeod goes back, taps it to Reese. A short little chip kick towards Hodgson. With left foot tumbling punt towards the square, punched away defensively at the back. Was pretty good, and they got McLeish over the top to Westwood, and he sprayed it as well and threw for one behind. To Jared Westwood. So they go to 9 7 61. Thompson. Lead winch will see 1 5 11 to Grandy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard. 10 play.
ball to come back to Matty Warren, doing the kicking and duty this time from the fullback position. Well, the club, club room side of the ground. Plays on now. Kicks low and flat. Was okay. Mark taken out there. Bennett. Tucker leads up and again into a little bit of space. So he finally goes in that direction. But that's uh, out of bounds from the full. So a uh, ball will go back quickly. McLeod plays on and goes in forward. Mark taken out there by Westwood. Ooh, umpire says it's a mark. No, no. Yeah, it's fine. I'm trying to spoil. <coughs> so Westwood now. This is the bloke we didn't see last time. Nah, Jared played the first played. time. All yep. right. Well, the other blokes had a few touches today too. Josh, yeah. So both involved in that goal that went over the top. Jared Grubbin, yes, yeah. he had all the options. So Westwood runs in now, kicks towards goal. And he has put it straight Never through the like middle. Missing. <coughs> so Jared Westwood gets his first in the tenth now for the Thompson side. 10-7. They lead Winchelsea 1-5. And we've gone 11 minutes. Third quarter of the Grandy Cycling Sports. Third quarter scoreboard. They've, they've sort of gone back to the first quarter where they just dominated everything. The ball just can't get up, up the Winchelsea forward line. And I think a few <laughs> blokes up there are getting cold because Thompson are just dominating here. And they're really showing us that just how hard they are going to beat a beat in the rest of the season. Should have gone to West and North. Told you we should have. Point the difference. Well, someone one, said one, someone one versus two we've got to go to. Someone said it was a twilight game. So. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the middle, Bowles. And Mason. Bowles gets it down to McLeish. Handballed it to Reese. He got pushed off the football. Umpire, a bit late, but got it. Was a push. And the coach with disposal number 83. You can't get him not giving votes. Seriously, you I'll give him a vote. No, I won't. That'd be right. Goes long towards Davis. Oh, good mark at the back, Gummins. Goes towards halfback. Oh, lost in the sun there. Bennett has to get around. He does. Over the tackle. Gives it to Fama. He really runs into trouble. Then he dropped the footy. The umpire right on the spot. Bods. Free kick tops. It. Oh, hello. Bowls. He just threw, bowled him threw over. Fama to the ground. But anyway, they play advantage. And they go to McLeod. He's had a lot of the footy at half four today. Jackson. And kick three. I think his words were, stop whinging. Yeah. <laughs> Kittle over the back here, just on the ground. You watch this. He comes up. McLeish over the back. Here he is. Oh, oh nearly, I didn't get you. the bounce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he might get it again here, though, because they run past it. The Ooh, boys. Oh, that's a oh, bit got one high. Yeah, big time. Oh, and they're telling him about it, too, Jai Price. So, McLeish will shoot for goal from left half forward. About 45 out, 45-degree well, angle. Heard a lot of, heard a lot of good things about Jai Price. So I think we're going to have to see him again for me to judge on him because he's been pretty poor today. Not poor, but just struggled today. They've all struggled with Scrub. McLeish yeah. comes in, right foot kick. Beautiful goal. <coughs> Dave McLeish kicks his, first, kicks his first of the afternoon. And the 11th for Thompson. They go to 11-7-73. And they lead Winch 1-5-11. And that is on the Grandy Cycling Sport. Third quarter scoreboard, 13 minutes played. That one might have been his first for a long time because, boy, <laughs> gee, like when you're, when you're 10 goals up, people don't go to you like that. They, <laughs> they just went to him as if it was his... I know they do it now if you kick your first goal in League 40. They go to you like you've won the world title. Well, they, they went to him then, so he's obviously very, very popular. Or that's his first one in quite a long time. Spends a lot of time on his hands and knees, I can tell you, Dave McLeish. There he goes. The footy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he gets it out of there. Yeah, ball in the middle of the ground again, this time over the top. Goes to Fama. He was tackled straight away and uh, no chance for the ball to come out. Umpire says, I will take the ball. And, and why is it when you get players like that, and I know Holwell's the same, they love people like that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So forward now, this time he takes the ball out of the ruck contest and again wrapped up fairly quickly. And the ball will go back to the umpire once again. So Meeson and all Bowles doing the ruck work. This time Meeson down, forward, forges his way through. Kick didn't travel too far, though. Again, it's uh, at hands and knees stuff. There was a holding decision, and it's going to go to Will Ford. As you said, Grubby might have been a bit cold down there, so he's moved himself up the ground a little bit. So yep. Ford now goes into the forward line, out wide. Leading in the race for the ball will be Gardner. Gets there, doesn't pick it up. Goes to Maguire. Maguire goes back with the Wiseman. Ends up there in the hands of Hodgson. He goes back to Wiseman. They're fiddling around with a bit, but uh, in right hands now. He goes across the ground. That's Hodgson. Mark taking Tunbridge. Has players further across the ground, but he decides to stop and prop and go towards PJ DeSanto. Takes the mark. Thought he had a running option, but decided to go out 
wide. Kick wasn't good, good enough, though. And it's Gardner over the top of the ball. Couldn't pick it up. Now in the hands of Jacker. Got the handball inside. Goes to Banfield. Banfield with uh, John O'Casey. He's tackled. Got the handball out. Goes to Wiseman. Tried to feed it forward, but uh, ends up in the hands of Winchelsea. And they bring the ball across the ground now. Go on a two-on-one situation. Means he's able to get the ball to ground. Picked up by Price. Handball's over the top. Goes back. And it's picked up by Harding. Goes out wide to Gubbins. Gubbins takes a mark and goes quickly to the half-forward line. They continue to run now. And it's through Collins. Long into the forward line. But again, DeSanto. Just goes back, takes the mark, handballs away, goes to Jacker, it goes out wide. Running player is Gardner from the half-back line. Looks at his options inside, little short kick. McLeish continues to run, picks the ball up, and he goes long towards McLeod. Two-on-one situation, ball from behind. Sterling's able to get the ball to ground. Bit of stage the in there, Jacko. He was trying to get a free kick, <laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> he was. So on centre wing, far side of the ground, the umpire about to restart the play. Don't wait for it, mate. Throw it in. Waiting for Bowles to arrive. Meeson's already there. Ruckman go at it. Ball gets out the back. Fama takes it. Was tackled straight away, but able to get boot to ball. Goes towards Egan. He goes back wide towards the boundary. The mark is taken out there. In the hands of Casey. Goes forward to the half-forward line, but again out in front of Westwood. Actually too far out in front of Westwood, and it's gone over the bounce on the full. Free kick will go to Budavalis on the far side of the ground. So he goes back to Gubbins. Yeah, problem is Kays him in now. Here. Yeah, so he goes short. Mark will be taken out there. It's Williams. Goes short again. And Mark they're still worse off than when he's Sterling he goes wide. And that thing's just inside the field of play. Bailey Kale has the mark. Joey Fama asking for it short and around the boundary line. He's not too sure where he wants to go. So he goes back inside. It's okay. Meeson takes the mark. Running player. Oh. Wasn't ready for the ball. Jeez. And that was Williams. They dive on top of it now, the Thompson side. Hold it up, umpire says. It's not going to come out to a ball up to take place once again. I reckon I was wrong there. You, you actually do have to wait for the players to get there nowadays because you've got to nominate, don't you? Mm. Yep. So ball thrown up by the umpire. It's tapped down, ground level. Meeson trying to work his way out of that contest, but he's not coming out of there in a hurry. Umpire to come in and take possession once again. Bowles and Meeson doing the ruck work. Run up by the umpire this time. Meeson out the back, goes towards Fama. Taps it towards the boundary line. Kittle, he gets to the front possession now. He's pushed off the ball, picked up again by Fama, and he walks over the boundary line. There's going to be a throw-in to take place. Half-forward line, or just outside the half-forward line. Again, Stuart Thompson's attacking into the ground. Thrown back in by the umpire once again. Ball from Meeson's hand, picked up there, clicked away. And it's going to be by Remos, goes into the half-forward line. Mark is not taken. Reese Holden jumps over the top. He's picked up by Sawney, though. Got the handball away to Spriggs. High, said the umpire. Play the advantage. Allowed to go, and it goes towards Alice. Oh, I thought he was going to continue then. He Ball was. will come back. Well, if he did, he'd have got caught. <laughs> so Alice now will go back and try and kick the second goal for the Blues. Five out, almost directly in front. They come in now, kicks a goal. Didn't look too good off the boot, but it will have the desired effect, and it's through for a goal. So he gets his first of the afternoon, and the second now for which will see there. 2 5, trailing Thompson on 11 7, and we have gone. Nearly all 19 minutes, uh, set third quarter. Well, that's really all they can do is just hang in there and try and kick as many goals as they can. But when you did a minute ago, you mentioned the Blues. Who's going to coach the Blues next week? Well, they'll mean? get beat tomorrow, and I reckon it's bye bye Bolton. Uh, the bloke rang up nine two, uh, sorry, eleven sixteen SCN during the week and said Michael Voss will get the job. Oh, jeez. Unfortunately, that bloke was me, but. <laughs> Good luck with that. I hope that goes well for you. <laughs> Back to the middle. Meeson up against Davis this time. Davis gets it down. And they all stop and wait for it. Except Reese, who goes in. <coughs> and goes Therefore. below the knees, he reckons. That's the trip. That's the yeah. below the knee free kick. Oh, uh, I tell you. Freeman's, Freeman's done a car, uh, he's done Achilles. Achilles. Yep. yep. The ball is at half forward, uh, half forward for Winch. Wiseman sees it towards the boundary line. Yep. That's season over. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's in big Freeman. trouble. Yeah, and he 
He's Down in big field. trouble. They're going to have to stop it here, I reckon, because yeah. they're going to need a stretcher. Cause he hang on, off. hang on. Yeah, good umpiring. Good umpiring, son. Going to need the stretcher. He just fell over like he'd been shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the middle, Dan Freeman. Usually, usually have the earphones off, mate. You'd be able to hear that go bang, I reckon. Yeah, really? Yeah, I listened to Lou Ungo at, uh, when I coached in the league. Hutchie did his in the goal square, and I was on the centre wing, and I could hear it go yeah, bang. Yuck. Sounded like a shotgun going off. Yeah. <coughs> so there's going to be a break in play now at the 20 minute mark of the third term. It, while this break's in play, I did see something last night. I watched the footy last night, and you're talking about rules. I saw Dustin Martin take a mark, right? After he pushed the bloke out with both hands oh, yeah. and went back. Yeah. Isn't that still a free kick? Well, they, they debated that. They debated about the fact that whether he actually held his ground or not. Which, yeah, which he didn't. Mm. He, he didn't. If you come back, you're mm. allowed to hold him. But he actually pushed him. And, and the commentators, I think I think they were, some of them said free Bristol, kicks. Bristol and Jimmy said it was okay. And yeah. Lingy, Lingy said no good. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's an out and out straight in the back, isn't the, it? The second movement, I think, was the one. He, held, he yeah. did hold him. And, and then, and then, then pushed him. him. Yeah. I mean... Am I that far out of touch? Have no. the rules changed that much? No. Well, obviously they have. They got away with it. They got away with that one. That was the rules. I'd like to know from, say, a Razor Ray Chamberlain, what is the decision? What's, you know, good. To, he cop one too, old Razor. Yes. Right where well, you don't want to yeah, cop he one. He did too. <laughs> See, this is bad. Not just for Thompson. For this kid, he's a tremendous player. And let's just hope it's you blokes are wrong, and it's just a sore ankle. He's can get back before the end of the year. He's in a stack of pain, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah, he is. Well, if it's not an Achilles, he's broken something. Yeah, yeah. Because he went down. Yeah. And like I'm, I'm tipping. I think you're right. Yeah. It's one of those things, as soon as he went down, you knew yeah. he was going to be stretched off. Yeah. You know? Some blokes go down, they get up, and they hobble, and you knew that wasn't going to happen. He's over here, mate. He's gone five <laughs> metres to the right and three metres in, this bloke. <laughs> Whatever he likes. Boundary throw in centre wing. Restart in play. Maybe his old rust grabber. Over the back, one. Jacker. Mason. You, gets mate. the ball away to place. <laughs> back to the middle. Punched away by Brooks. Ball in dispute. McLeish tried to tap it on. Sprig. Handball over the top of the head of Fama. It's a run onto it. He has to go back and get it. Oh, he's got one eye. The umpire didn't see it. Blindsided. Pack develops. Forward pushes hole off the footy. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Just inside the centre square. Since we'll see, just into attack. Davis and Mason. Don't get a hand to it. Jacker tries to tap it on as well. McLeish gets ripped off the football by a tackle. And the umpire will come in and ball it up again. He's up with Ramos there. Ball up still just inside the centre square at centre half forward. Davis and Mason. Davis gets it down. McLeish got a clearing kick to a vacant centre wing position. Foot race now. Kittle going to lead in the race for the football. Handballs it back to Westwood. Tried to find the handball to start with, then get it away to Casey at half back. Chips the ball inside. Good McLeish kick. takes the mark. Try and switch the ball. No, he's just going to hold it up. He's got Westwood short again. He's going to go in the middle. Leads on McLeod. Why wouldn't you go there? And then a push and fitty. Oh, no, he's let it go. Geez. That was late. Gubbins plays on McLeod. Goes short to Menzies. Takes the mark. Long right foot kick to the goal square. Over the back, Westwood. Might see, sit for him. Kick around the corner. Misses. Through for one behind, one goal, two he's got. And they go to 11 8 74 Thompson. And leave Mitchell C 2 5 17. The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard, 24 minutes played. Will be a bit of time on, as we know, but uh, Warren now from the fullback position, he just decides to play on. He goes short over the top, will be okay. Was it? No, no he's mark. called the play on by the umpire. Ends up in the hands of McLeod. He goes long and back towards goal. Will he bring it back far enough? No, he won't. And his second behind. Is their ninth for Thompson? They're 11 9 now, and they lead Winchelsea on 2 5. What, about, what happened there? Mark wasn't the mark. paid. But he marked it, didn't he? He yeah. took it out of his hands. Well, he reckons he didn't hang it long enough, I would yeah. say. So, Matty Warren again just uh, wiping the ball on the ground. Going to play into a puddle or a bit of 
Soft stuff. He plays on now and he goes out wide again. Dangerous kick. Wall can arrive again, but this time the mark is taken. So from their defensive end, they uh, set things up. I think it was Sterling again out there. So Sterling now from inside defensive 50 goes towards centre wing. Three on one out there. Oh, just, just too Davis. many there and a great Davis, mark. Yeah, over the top, just plucks it out, goes sideways, finds Wiseman. You can't kick it to three on one. <coughs> he's got some options this side of the ground. He's got a number of, if he wants to, he's got three players out here because Menzies has made... Uh, position further up the field, he can go at the back but he decides to pick the ball up and run now and he goes long into the forward line, again the same situation, Westwood out the back oh! Oh, out of mid air, <laughs> thought he'd be the uh, Messi, yes it was <laughs> over the top, but the ball runs towards the boundary line and will be over the boundary line now as Harding sees it there, tell you what, if that had a gone through for a goal, <laughs> I was going home <laughs> I'm not watching it anymore, that would have been a miracle uh, Lionel Messi Lionel so the ball thrown back in. Again, the forward pocket. This time, front position, Davis taps it to the front. Coming through, I think it was McLeish, took possession of the ball. Now he needs to get it out. Umpire circling. But no prior opportunity, he says. And the ball off to take place. 25 out from goal. Thrown up again by the umpire. Meeson reaches up over the top and gets his own ball. Comes out the back. Westwood overran it. I think it was uh, Harding who had the ball. He tried to work his way through the contest. Couldn't do so. Place is also there. Ends up with Brooks picking the ball up. And umpire will come in once again. Getting out towards the 50 metre line now. <coughs> Thrown up quickly again by the umpire. Davis up and down. Picked up by Ford. Off the contest. Goes towards centre wing. McClure. I think he was interfered with and the ball was in the air there. But the umpire's allowed things to run. And the kick by Egan has gone out of bounds. On the full, and it'll be a free kick going to Winkelsey. Place, he gets the ball and goes backwards to Govins. They go backwards, but then they get caged in. Yeah, they, they, they've just got to go forward from when they get the footy. Wall and goes short and over the top, and or just Mark not taken there by Sterling, put him under pressure. He kicks outside 50, Ford's got to be the target, gets out the back, picked up by Fama, tried to work his way through the contest. He's tackled, had plenty of time, got Ooh. the ball away, went towards Tucker, he's on hands and knees, got the handle of the Ford. His kick didn't travel too far, picked up by Fama, he's tackled once again by Jacko, brought down, umpire says, you are gone, son. Free kick going to the Thompson side, and Sam Jacko will be the recipient. Joey just asked about prior opportunity. Yeah, and look, I'd be <laughs> asking. And Fiddy, and Fiddy. There we go. It's always oh, going to happen. Joey. And another one too now. As he, uh, oh, be careful, Joey. Be careful. Look, I'd be asking about prior opportunity myself, but you've got to ask in a nice way and, and don't hold on to the ball. You know, you're allowed to ask. I would have asked the same. But then discipline like that. I don't know whether that was a good 50 or not, but it's anyway. 50. Well, I've got, uh, Sammy Jack has got the ball in hand and as the ball will have the distance in it, you would think. Well, as a defender, Sammy Jacker loves having a, having a shot for goal from here. So Sammy Jacker steps in now, kicks towards goal. It is long, and it will be I reckon he's missed that one. Yeah. Only just. Ooh, that's that's be, all you have to beat. Be dirty on that. 11-10 <coughs> now, the Thompson side. 2-5 to Winchelsea. 28 and a half gone. Third quarter of the Grand Slogan Sports. Third quarter scoreboard. Wallen, short little kick into the pocket. Harding takes the mark. 6-6 six, six for the quarter. Long kick this time. Over the back. McClure can't take it with him. Oh, he can, uh, Banfield can. A oh, good kick too to McLeish. 55 out. Swings around. Right foot kick. Turned it over. Sterling takes the mark. He reads the ball pretty well, this fella. He does. Goes long with a kick into the middle. Punched away by Jacker. Ball to the side. Holwell breaks a tackle. Gets it away again. Gardner back inside. 50. Kittle goes up off the back. Westwood. Josh kicks around the corner. Goal. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh Josh Westwood kicks his first. Party time at Godfrey Street. 12 10 82. The Tigers. Winchell see 2 5 17 to Grandy Cycling Sport. Third quarter scoreboard. 29 and a half played. Look, aside from that goal, I want to go back to Joey Fanner. Oh, look. He got the footy here, right in front of us. The umpire gave him plenty of time, as you said in the course, but he gave him plenty of time to get rid of it. 
he picked it up again and probably didn't even get half that time to get over the second time. So he's entitled to say, hey, how come how come you... But you don't hold on to the ball and carry on a bit <coughs> to give 50 because you're hurting your side badly who are already hurting on the scoreboard. So back in the middle we go. This time Meeson taps the ball down. It goes towards... Uh the coach picked the ball up, goes out wide. You forget his name. Yeah, I did. Reese Hollywood, Hodgson. <laughs> you aren't giving him a vote either. Yeah, no, no, no. no, not getting votes. <laughs> Could have been anybody from my point of view. Goes to Kale, put him under pressure too. Got the handle out to Wall and he's under pressure. I'll tell you what, they're applying plenty of it. And Westford has got him in a tackle and the ball is not coming out then. And it will be a ball up to take place. So in between centre wing and half forward. Ball thrown up again by the umpire. Ball Come on, Johnny. Position, goes to McLeish. McLeish gets the ball back to Reese Howell. Puts his head over it. Now he dives on top of this time. He might be in a bit of trouble, yep. I think, Reese Howell. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to pay it, too. Yeah. He uh, had the arms spread, but he or had the arms up. And I thought, here we go. So back with the umpire once again. Same position. Ball up taking place. Meese in front position this time. Taps the ball down. Only as far as Howell again. Oh, don't know where that was a push. He actually turned him in the tackle then. So I thought that was okay. But he does it nice, Reese Howell. He might just sneak into one now, I think. Do you reckon he spends the whole Sunday in bed? Yeah, he would. <laughs> or, in, or, in, or in a bath, anyway. Recovering. <laughs> so, God. ball goes to the half-forward line. Wall couldn't trap it. It was a good a second attempt. And the ball goes over the boundary line. So, a throw to take place in the half-forward line for the uh, Tigers. You don't give him a vote today, Dale. <laughs> don't come next week. Oh, I'll just slot it into one. All right, then, fair enough. That's all right. <laughs> he probably won't need me more than that anyway. <laughs> so ball gets out the back, goes towards Price. He runs <laughs> onto it. He can't pick the ball up. Again, it's <coughs> forward. It's worked hard. Price goes back and collects it once again. Comes around back towards the centre wing. McClure comes up. But uh, Hodgson does nicely. And he takes the mark. So Hodgson now with the ball outside 50. He's going to go long and towards McLeod. Ball numbers at the contest. Gets to the front. Who's it going to win the possession of the ball? Goes to Price. Pick Another up one. Westwood again. How many times are you going to do that? <laughs> Josh Westwood's in the right spot <laughs> again. He has now got two and the 13th goal for the Thompson side. They're 13-10. 2-5 to the Winchester side. We've gone 32. Third quarter of the Granny Stock and Sports. Third quarter scoreboard. That That's the dangerous point for me. When we saw him here the first time, only one of them played and played reasonably well. Now you see the two of them. And even though they're not best on the ground, you see what they can do. I'll tell you what, the two, the two of them and Kittle together. Yeah, yeah. Like they've kicked seven, <laughs> five goals. Yeah, it's, it's just... <laughs> and that means, well... Jacko's if, kicked three. Yeah, if Freeman, and, and three, yeah, if if Freeman's, Freeman's gone, Freeman's got two. they've still yeah. got plenty of goal kickers yeah. to take his spot. And play, you know. Davis has only kicked one. Yeah, and he could have kicked a couple more yeah. early. So, look, I know it's only, what, round seven? I think they're home. I, I, I can't yeah, see. Take some beating. I can't see anyone beating them unless, all right, they've maybe have lost Freeman today. If they lose five, six yeah, more, Baden's out, and he's got to come back in. Yeah. yeah. They got Fenevesi, Hutchinson, Solly, and Forbes. 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 <laughs> Math- <laughs> Matheson. Well, Matheson. Well, there's the bloke. They come, yeah. He comes back in for <laughs> Freeman Matheson. for some goals. <laughs> but they look at the moment unbeatable, and that was a long way to go. Back in the middle, bowls and Mason bowls gets it down nicely. And there's the siren for three-quarter time. Uh, it is Thompson 13-10-88. They lead Winchelsea 2-5-17. Goal kickers, Dale. Yes, for the home side, Jax McLeod with three. Two each to Kittle, Freeman and Westwood. That is Josh. One each to Davis, McLeish, Jared Westwood, Wall. And for the Winchelsea side, Thammer and Ellis are their goal kickers. Thompson, 13, 10, 88, powering away. Winch, 2, 5, 17 at the final change. We'll take a break. Come back, final quarter action after this on 94.7 The Pulse.